when I thought I couldn't get any better. They drop this. They drop a paint booth preview. 36 seconds long. I've been waiting for this for a long time. And they drop it. Now, if you excuse me, I'm in my baggy pajama shirt. I was eating my dinner. I was relaxing, doing my thing. But the show must go on and I got to make a video. So please excuse me. As I don't look professional. But it's a NASCAR 21 Ignition video. So I think it's okay. We're going to watch this. I haven't watched it yet. So we'll see what this paint booth is all about. We'll react to it. We'll analyze it and go through the 36 seconds of gameplay and see what kind of paint booth we got. Without further ado, let's watch it. All right, y'all, show me what you got. What you got for me here? Okay. much yes yes <laughs> all right all right i know it was only 35 seconds long but i think we're gonna break this down a little bit here let's see what this paper was all about i'm so happy and excited but let's break it down let's see what we got here let's just see what we got all right so right off the bat right here uh you got body side skirt spoiler roof rails wheels and wheel stripe various colors i love it already a huge improvement from nascar heat 5 when it comes to the color variety well done to motorsport games on that you can never have too many colors okay a little bit of the button format here change car number using the d-pad set number cancel a and b uh looks like there's no uh there's no difference of what number you can choose. You can choose any number from zero to 99, or I think the two numbers like the 0506 were available. I'm not sure. You might have to go back and watch that and everything, but here's where it gets dicey. Look at this, boom, just like that. It's like, hey, we're not gonna show you the number fonts, but here, boom, here, have a, a beautiful number font with some thickness on that bad boy right there. Look at the thickness right there, guys. You can go all the way up, to, uh, looks like from zero to 15 up to 20. Not bad, a little too much thickness right there on the number. Maybe it's like a 17 or a 16 here, but the thing about this is a number and the thickness of a number really define the, the brand of the driver and the paint scheme. Uh, it, it can really make a big difference to how the paint scheme flows. It can either just be a flop or it can be an amazing scheme. So it's cool that Motorsport Games is giving us that option to make the thickness of a number uh, either very big or very small right there. So let's keep going and let's just see what, what else we can break down here. One more thing about the number I just noticed here. Of course, you can slant the number, the shadow direction of the number and the outline thickness. So we can do a lot with the numbers here. Now, can we take the numbers off and make our own custom number? I don't know about that yet but let alone right here if that is the case at least motorsport games has given us the option to hey you can slant the number you can put the thickness on the number the shadow direction so at least we have a lot of variety when it comes to what we can do with the number per se let's keep moving forward so one thing right here this gives me major flashbacks to nascar 15 slash eutechnics slash forza paint boots is look at what we can do here with uh logos as you see the player is moving the white motorsport games logo that's right behind the number you can move uh you can move it you can change the size you can spin it you can skew it you can change the opacity sorry if i botched that word you can change the uh you, looks like you cannot change the color of it which that's completely normal because that's licensing but you can also move it along the x and y axis which is always great this this is major throwbacks to uh the older paint booth days of nascar games which is very very nice all right, so here we go. This is something I bet you all want to see right here. Look at the amount of sponsors. Big improvement from the last video that teased the paint booth where it was only like six or seven sponsors on there. If you look on the top right there, uh, it's very hard to pause it and everything, but you can notice right here right off the bat, you have every different color of M&M. So you have orange, yellow, red, uh, green, and brown. I think the blue one was there on the top as well. So you have every different type of M&M. You have every type of logo of Auto Owners Insurance, Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, Craftsman, DeWalt, uh, Interstate Batteries is down there too. If you ever get a chance to thank a Motorsport Games licensing slash marketing person, please say thank you because 
uh, the amount of work it takes to get every single possible logo of a brand is very hard, especially in NASCAR. So you can tell right off the bat that they didn't want to just throw a paint booth. They wanted to give you a good, solid paint booth right here. So thank an employee when you can, because this, this is really good. And here's a look at the uh, the official menu of the paint booth and everything. So right here, when, you, uh, when you're when you looking at it, you have up to 300 decals, which I think is plenty of decals right there. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, go to a new decal to the right. You have sort decal with the D-pad, edit decal with A, X for additional commands, jump left, jump right with the left and right bumpers, and uh, the right trigger to select. Uh, maybe we can get a good, uh, oh, I think I saw some more sponsors there. Here's a better look for the M&M's logos for you guys. Yep, you have every different color of M&M, every one that you've seen on a commercial before, among uh, other M&M logos, as well as NASCAR 21 Ignition slash Motorsport Games logos, which I'm not surprised about. You can make yourself a cool NASCAR 21 Ignition paint, uh, paint scheme if you'd like. So here's the shapes tab. So you have sponsor logos, shapes, and stripes. If you go ahead and look at the shapes, I can already think of a few cool things we can make here. You got lightning bolts. You got uh, just normal uh, shapes. You got really cool polka dot patterns. You got arrows, little swooshes like paint, um, which is really checkered flag patterns on the top right there. Let's see if we can find some more of them. Here's the stripes page, and they're not just giving you stripes with no colors. They're giving you stripes with the NASCAR colors, uh, purple, yellow, and orange. I can already think of one paint scheme I could make with that. Uh, and there's some other ones right there, too. If you look in the two rows, look at the third logo from left to right in both row two and three. You have the Petty Swoosh, so you can make a really cool Richard Petty car. And for all my DEI fans out there, you guys can make a DEI paint scheme, whether it's Dale Jr., Steve Park, Michael Waltrip, you name it, there is the iconic DEI uh, trademark logo that was on the side of the car whenever the paint schemes were made. That's really cool. They went all out with these, uh, with these stripes, which is really nice. So here is what I assume is the additional commands button. You have copy the current decal, copy group and paste, so copy and paste, which is really nice. Here's a big one that is gonna save so much time for all of my painters out there. Mirror decal and mirror group to the other side. So you don't just have to mirror every single decal. If you really want to, you can do everything you want on one side of the car and then just hit mirror group, which I assume if you see the little squares on the uh, logos here, when you're looking at all your decals, that little square in the top right corner of the boxes, if you check those and hit mirror all decals to the other side or mirror group, it's gonna mirror everything to the other side. So if it, what would take you maybe an hour and a half to make a paint scheme may only take you like 35, 40 minutes. Uh, that saves you so much time. So that's huge right there and is such a big timed consumer. So they thought ahead of this, which is really, really cool. Now, one thing I'll show you real quick is the uh, demonstration of changing the width and height of a logo. You'll see them using the NASCAR stripes right here, changing the height going down. I'm sorry, the width is going down and then the height, which goes from left to right, uh, expanding it all the way across the car for the design, which is really, really nice. Uh, that's awesome. Here's some more sponsors here. Lots of Joe Gibbs racing support. You also have Ressers or Reesers. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Ream, Skittle, Snickers, Offer Pad. Uh, if we go down here, there's some more. You have uh, Sports Clips, Stanley, Tracker Boats, FedEx Racing, MRN, and Pedigree, along with NASCAR Coast to Coast MRN. You'll probably come up with some cool ideas for those logos. Here's what the hood looks like for all the people that uh, want to know what it's going to look like to design the hood. Looks pretty awesome. You have all the space available to show what you're doing to that hood. A lot different from NASCAR E5 where it only seemed like you saw 75% of the hood when you were designing a car. So very nice detail right here to show the painter the full image of what they are designing here. Uh, I don't see anything new, so we'll keep moving here. As you see right here, you can also put logos on the back of the car. Uh, this painter is obviously putting logos under the Ford logo, which is cool. Very good uh, attention to detail right there. Along with some M&Ms, you got the pit crew guy there. He looks really nervous. Ooh, look at that render. Oh, it paused right there. Look at that render. I like the presentation on that. Very nice, very nice. All right, y'all, what do you think about the NASCAR 21 Ignition paint booth? If you ask me, 
Sloppy paint booth class YouTube videos are gonna be back better than ever. This is an amazing paint booth, especially for the first game of a brand new line of games from Motorsport Games. Uh, guys, this is awesome. This is great. It uh, Obviously, some people may say there's not a paint scheme uploader if that's the case, but guys, once again, this is the first game and we have a very nice paint booth to let the creative players get out there and make whatever car they want to the full extent of their imagination, which is something that's been missing in NASCAR games for quite a few years. So please give the tip of your hat to motorsport games uh for what they've done with this paint boot to start off very very nicely done and who knows we may even get updates throughout the game cycle with new sponsors and logos to put in i'm i have my fingers crossed for that because uh who, who knows what paint schemes you can make with this game this this is amazing uh from what i'm seeing so far all right guys that is going to do it hope you guys like the video and if you guys have a second please leave a like hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys don't miss any nascar 21 videos nascar 21 streams and of course the sloppy paint booth classes on this game as well. thank you all so much for watching stay sloppy as always and i'll see you guys in the next video adios